Hey guys, I'm going to show you a really quick little neat um, craft that you guys can do with decoupage. So I've got this little tray here. And excuse my voice, I'm uh, not feeling too well. Sore throat. But I want to decoupage these flowers. These are napkins over here. So what I do is I get, you know, napkins. These I bought from Amazon. And what you do is you peel the layer completely. There's two sheets. You want to make sure that you remove the whole thing off so it's a really thin layer of just that napkin with the flowers, okay? All right. So now we have the flowers. So I'm now going to set it of how I want it done and where exactly I want these flowers to come in. So probably around there, I think that will look nice. So then you take yourself some decoupage, pour it down here and let's start off with that amount like that. And just take yourself a little chipping brush like that and rub it all around. You might need some more. Just make sure the whole piece is coated and especially the little edges there. Okay. And now we take our napkin and I'm going to set it right there. And very slowly and carefully kind of want to Smooth it out so you don't rip the napkin because it's going to be delicate. If it's got a few little bubbles, it's okay. But make sure those edges are in. And then we're going to use a sandpaper later to remove the axis of the paper. You can also get a smoother if you wanted to, like a little, I don't know, I call it a spatula, but because this is a smaller project, there's really just no need. Your fingertips can be just fine. Okay, now I'm going to let this dry a bit so it will look like this. Now you can also, if you want it dried faster, you can grab yourself a hair dryer and dry it real quick as well. well let's let this dry and then uh, we'll come right back to it and, and finish it. All right, guys, now we are ready to sand off the edges, okay? So I just take a little handheld sander like this. I use a two. I have a two twenty grid on here, so just very lightly start removing the paper, just like that. Now you can rip it too if you want, but I like doing this. It's just a little neater cut, so it looks like that. Okay. go all the way around and if you rip some it's okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the decoupage and we're gonna seal this but maybe I'll leave some of these corners but that's why I didn't go through here and cut because you can but you want to see what this looks like first so then you don't have to feel bad later oh why didn't I do that but then your paper will be gone. So, if I left it like this a little bit, I think it looks really neat like that. I give it that edge look like that, you know? So now what you do is pour yourself the little decoupage. So I'm using a glossy decoupage, 
and get yourself a small little brush like an artist brush like this and then you're going to dip it and then since i'm keeping these edges now i'm going to go and cover those edges first because we didn't put decoupage the glue over that before until we decided to keep it so now you can do that so that it can stay still now mind you we're going to do a couple of the of these coats okay so now once you have that done now we can go inside your platter here and let's start sealing it. You don't want to put too much and be really careful because again, this paper is delicate because it is a napkin. The coolest things you can use to make art. You can also use poly if you wanted to, poly acrylic and lock it in. That's okay too. Okay. So now at this point, I would like to speed this up a little bit, okay? So what you do then is you're going to grab yourself the hair dryer real quick and dry it. I mean, that's how fast that is. So it dries pretty quickly. So then I'll grab a little more of the Maj Paj there. And put more in on there. And then let's go ahead and put a little more on those corners that we kept. So what's happening with these corners looks like it's, they, they've been distressed. It's pretty cool. And then stuff, if, if, if you see the uh, Maj Paj just hanging out, it's okay because it will dry and it's clear. So Okay. That should be good. And we're going to let it dry for a little bit and then we're going to come back and then do a um another coat of it okay well it's pretty much dry right now it's looking good it's looking a little shiny there from the gloss that i wanted but i am going to put in let's put another um another coat of the mosh posh so you just dip your brush again you might ask like how long do i wait for dry time it, it it could probably take like it depends five to ten minutes fifteen minutes depending how much mosh pause you're putting on uh, but it's like real quick but again like I said you you there's nothing wrong with using your hair dryer do not use a heat gun because that can melt it away because a heat gun is really strong and and it's really hot so a hair dryer works best for this so just make sure you get those edges. And then this is it, guys. This is your also your seal. So it looks like you painted this yourself on there. It looks pretty cool. And that's it. So now we just decorated a cute tray, which, by the way, this tray is made out of cement. I did make this myself, and uh, maybe one day I will have a class online to show you how to make one yourself. So I did make this, um, and I also painted it, and then we obviously now did a decoupage with a napkin. But how cool is that? Well, thanks for joining, and I hope that you like this little simple craft today.